The research in my laboratory focuses on the molecules uh, that uh, interact to form or uh, structure the inner ear. The uh, molecules are encoded by genes and those genes are expressed at specific times and in specific places in the inner ear. When there's a genetic defect or a change in the structure of those genes, certain molecules may not form or may form incorrectly, causing a functional impairment in the inner ear, which can cause deafness. We need to understand how the inner ear functions at a molecular level if we're to design translational therapies or, or responses in the clinic to restore uh, auditory function. We need to understand which molecules are expressed where and when, how they interact, how they function. When we understand that, we'll be better prepared to design strategies to fix uh, um, the ear when they're not functioning properly. The best way to understand um, what the Hearing Restoration Project is all about is to think about the Olympic dream team in basketball and, and when there are all these incredible, Michael Jordan, all these incredible, uh, if you could construct a basketball team that you'd want to represent your country, these are the people you'd put on it. That's my sense of my colleagues uh, in the Hearing Restoration Project. Uh, George Gates and, and colleagues have put together the most talented, creative, uh, inspired researchers that I've known for the last 15 years at least. It's not about rank, it's about how creative are your ideas and what have you shown in the past that demonstrates your productivity as a scientist, knowing that, that they're the most creative thinkers and the most productive scientists. Put them all in a room and say, deafness, we want to solve this and we want to solve it on a timeline of, of 10 years. Go do it.